YouTube. What up, man? Appreciate y'all for tuning back in to another video. I ain't gonna put on the seatbelt. Basically, on today's video, we're gonna be talking about. Uh, I get a lot of comments and DMs asking about the uh, cluster swap, basically. So, basically, on today's video, we're gonna be touching bases on that. So, um, I don't want this to be a long video because it's very common sense, it's very straightforward. Now, I'm not gonna change my mileage because my mileage is already corrected. So, but for somebody else, I'm gonna uh, help y'all out and help y'all correct y'all mileage. So, um, give me a second to park and uh, we gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the mileage correction. I'm sorry, correction. And there's two things that y'all need. They actually fairly cheap. It's basically what the dealership will use to um, help y'all, you know. It's basically what the dealership uses to help fix y'all cars. So basically, this is gonna help y'all. So this is basically for um, educational purposes. I don't, you know, I would recommend not selling the kind and changing the mileage that way because it's, it's ways they're going to find out, you know, certain things. But clearly, this is a cluster swap on a 2013. So, clear as day, you already know what's up. You feel me? So, I would recommend not doing that. Um, yeah, I would recommend just, just don't do it, you know. Just just don't because it's going to catch up with you. You feel me? So, let me go ahead and park and um, we're going to get right into this video. And I might leave the car running, so hopefully y'all can hit me. I'm pretty sure y'all can hit me. I need to get one of those little mics that can sit right here and then connect to the phone. That's what I need to do. I need to hit five below and go grab one of those. But I'm gonna leave the car running because it is kind of cold this morning. And yes, it's morning and I'm getting this video out for y'all. So let me go right here. I usually don't leave this in the car, but it is in the car. And also, where is that? It's right here. So I'm gonna leave the links down below and um, for the apps that y'all would need. And then also for the second one, um, I probably won't have a link, but I'll leave the name uh, down below. So, and I'll explain more about why I don't have a link for that one. So, all right, so basically this is what you need. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Let me make sure it focus. Oh, look at my hands is ashy. Don't mind my hands, y'all. Uh, but look at that camera. That shit is crazy. Hey, this camera is crazy. iPhone 15, y'all. 15 Pro Max. Camera is crazy. Focus. Now it's gonna focus back on me. This camera is crazy. All right, so back to the video. So as y'all can see, y'all need this. It's a OBD Link MX Plus. You feel me? They got other versions, but when I was looking at the videos, uh, this was the uh, one that, you know, that I know about. Come in this little pouch. You feel me? Come in a nice little pouch. And then um, just unzip it. And, oh, let me flip it. Hold on. Let me flip it. So I can do the presentation of it. Because this little guy is going to be your friend, bro. This thing come with everything. I'm going to show y'all everything it come with in a minute. This is how I look inside feel me so this is bluetooth so hold on focus yeah we'll up, upside down focus all right so as y'all can see it is bluetooth so um you go you're gonna hook this up to the car matter of fact i'm gonna put it in the car right now i'm gonna make sure i leave the link down below for this one so y'all can uh y'all know well, let me go ahead and turn the car off now and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and then Remove my taser. You don't need this. I don't even know why I'm putting this in the video, but you don't need that. I'm just removing that because that's always plugged up in my car. You feel me? So we're going to go ahead and plug that up. Turn the cop not on, but in the on position. And then this is for the second thing. I have a work phone. It's an Android. You feel me? You're going to need an Android or you can use a laptop. You just gotta make sure you stay close to Wi-Fi. I don't need Wi-Fi because this work phone is on. You feel me? So make sure it's on. Make sure you got Wi-Fi or make sure the phone is on. It's gotta be an Android or it's gotta be an Android or um, a computer. It's gotta be one or the other. You feel me? 
It's got to be one or the other. So, uh, let me go to the Google store and pull it up. So, basically, what this one is, you will need, like I said, you will need to either download it on the computer or download it in the Google store. And the app is called Alpha OBD. You feel me? It's gonna look, it's gonna look like a little mini coupe. A little mini coupe. It's gonna look exactly like this. It's gonna look just like that. You feel me? It's gonna look just like that. And um, you're gonna install it. You're gonna install it. And when that's done installing, you're gonna go to your Bluetooth because you gotta you gotta connect now at this point. You gotta connect to the um so Bluetooth and then see how it's popping up. Hold on, it's popping up right there. The OBD, the link, and it's all, oh, well, since I'm already paired, I'm already paired, basically, so. Uh, it found it right away, and then it pulls up. This is how the screen gonna look. It's gonna pull up all this, you know, it's gonna pull up. You got all these options to work with, basically. You feel me? So, you got all these options to work with. You got a uh, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, um, a lot of foreign cars, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep, Maserati. I don't know if it worked for Ford or well, I don't know if it worked for those cars, but I know it works for basically what y'all trying to do. A cl cluster swap or whatever y'all call it, cluster swap and um, mileage correction and um, idling, engine idling hours, all that good stuff. So um, you click Chrysler. Um, they got steering control module. Look, they got a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of features. Look. They got a whole bunch of features. Y'all can pause it and look at, hold on, focus. Not on me on the phone. Y'all can look at all the features that they have, bro. And y'all can just do it that way. And just look at all the features. And then you can pick, you know, your year. They got 2011 through 14 and then 2015 and up. But since we 11 through 14 and we trying to do the cluster swap, you know, that's what y'all start with. And y'all can um, actually change uh, the mileage, you feel me? So. Let me show y'all how to get there. So you scroll, you scroll. Instrument panel, bro. It's gonna be right there. You feel me? Click it and then select the control. Like I said, we're gonna be the 11 through 14. And then when you're ready to, when you're ready to focus, when you're ready to um, modify it, you see that car with the hood up, you're gonna hit that hood, you're gonna hit connect, and then you're gonna hit that hood. You're gonna enter the right mileage correction that you wanna put in. You're gonna enter that and then put it in. Your car gonna start, don't touch the car. The car's gonna do all this um, why, uh, wonky, crazy stuff. And then once it's done, you just turn the car off, open the door, close the door, let it sit for about, I let mine sit for about two, three minutes, you feel me? And then I press the, on button i didn't turn the car fully on but i just turned the car on and um my mileage correction is now correct you feel me i got ninety four thousand miles ninety four thousand on the car so which was and then when i did the cluster swap i had what 92 or 93 92 i believe i'm not sure but i was around that time so that's how you're gonna do the cluster swap so like I said, make sure this is, you can find this in the Amazon store. Hold on, focus. You can find that in the Amazon store. And then you can find the app that I was just talking about. Hold on, let me go to it. This app, like I said, it looked like a little beetle. It's a little red beetle. It's a little red beetle. It's a red beetle, alpha, OBD, um, in the Google App Store, or you can do it on computer. I recommend doing it on the phone because it's, you know, you're carrying around a big ass laptop, but if you ain't got access to an Android, you feel me then, and you got access to a computer, how I many you do what you gotta do? So, um, and uh, that's basically how you would change your cluster swap. I know a lot of people get SRT pages with this. You can get SRT pages, you can get, um, you can get a lot of stuff. All those factory locked, uh, all those factory lock things, you know, that um, these cars come with, 
you can get them, but I already had the taser, so I had the taser since my damn challenger, so um, it really didn't it really didn't matter to me to unlock it because I already had everything. You feel me? So um, that's basically all we gonna cover on today's video. I hope uh, that answered a lot of y'all questions. I hope that helps y'all with a, uh, a lot of stuff and. Um, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, turn that post bill notification on so y'all don't miss a drop. Please try to get this video to 50 to 100 likes for me. And, um, yeah, y'all make sure y'all, uh, stay tuned for more videos, man. I'm gonna try to keep dropping information new videos because I know it's not a lot of videos on this topic or this subject for y'all. So y'all make sure y'all keep tapping in make sure y'all keep commenting. If y'all got any questions, I try to make videos about it and, um, we gonna go for that, go from there. And uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.